Hello there. I regularly read comments from people asking whether it's possible to run an EV without access to a charger at home or at work. So in this video, I'm going to try and answer that question. And clearly, what I'm going to go through in this video is my opinion based on my circumstances. You may have a different opinion and your circumstances may well be different. This won't work for everyone. A little bit of background first then. We got our first EV in May 2021. And we got a BMW i3. And we enjoyed it so much that six months later we took delivery of an Audi Q4 e-tron as well. Now this isn't based on tiny little mileages. We have covered 24,478 miles in the Q4 and 19,632 miles in the i3 so far. When we first got the i3, we did try and get a charger fitted, but we discovered that our electrical supply was looped with our next door neighbour's house. So it took about seven months for our energy supplier to come and unloop the two supplies and leave a nice big patch on the pavement when they did so. Then it turned out you'd have to lift up the staircases in our garden and our next door neighbour's garden to put a trench in for the power cable to get from the house down to where our cars are. This was going to cost potentially thousands of pounds so we decided not to bother because you can get quite a lot of electrons for thousands of pounds we do have power in the garage but we're not convinced the cabling is up to the task of charging electric cars so we decided just to stick to public charging our first protocol for charging was our local leisure centre which has two destination chargers which can each charge two cars Initially, those chargers were free, but they're now 35 pence per kilowatt hour with a four hour overstay fee unless you start charging after 10 pm. We don't charge there regularly anymore. That's our backup charger if we can't get charged elsewhere. However, it's only a two minute walk from the house. You can actually see the cars from the house. And it's quite a good place to put them while they're sitting idle at the house anyway. The Leisure Centre Charger is run by Midlothian Council and it's on the Charge Place Scotland network. So we live in Midlothian, which is just outside Edinburgh. It's the area just below the A720 on this map. And there's not a huge amount of Charge Place Scotland chargers there. But there are a few. If you switch to that map, you'll see Edinburgh's fairly well served for chargers. Midlothian, a bit less so. Also, at the moment, until the new chargers open at Dobby's Garden Centre, just off Sheriff Hall Roundabout, as far as I'm aware, the fastest chargers in Midlothian are 50 kilowatt chargers. The cheapest of the 50 kilowatt chargers are at the world's most neglected park and ride at Straighton, which is run by Midlothian Council. And the charger there's 55 pence a kilowatt hour. Currently, our go-to charger is one that's near my work. So I can park here, walk to work in about eight minutes. I can leave it on all day because it's not a particularly fast charger. And it normally finishes charging just before I get back to the car. Again, using the time when the car would normally be sitting doing nothing to charge it. I normally use this charger once every couple of weeks. And in between, I do a bit of grazing. So when the kids are at football, there's a charger about five minute drive away. So I can generally get about an hour and a half top up on that twice a week. And there are actually three chargers, so six spaces within a minute of each other. And the best thing about the charger near my work and the charger near the kids' football, currently they are still free. And that's my favourite price. Now that leads us neatly on to the cost. How much does it cost us to do our public charging for our two EVs for 43-ish thousand miles? So as of right now, I've got an £18.37 unbuilt charge to go on. But my unbuilt charging including all the free charging, has been 6,000 kilowatt hours. 
my paid charging has come on the Charge Play Scotland app to about £670. On top of that, I used £150 of credit that I got with the Audi and I've done some little top-ups here and there, a total of maybe about £50. So doing some man maths and rounding up a bit, that's a total cost for both our cars for the last two and a bit years of around £900. That works out pessimistically as about 47 miles for every pound. So two pence per mile for electricity, which is a pretty good price. Driving wise, I've not done anything different that I wouldn't have done previously in my diesel or petrol powered cars. Still used it for camping trips, paddle boarding trips. They get used just like normal cars. I've charged all over the place, various chargers. I've never really had any problems getting on a charger other than one day I had to phone up to get a connection on a Charge Play Scotland one because my card wouldn't work. Other than that, it's been completely painless. For me then, the answer to the question, can you run an EV with no charger at home? In my case, I can run two EVs with no charger at home. And it just takes a little bit more organisation to make sure that the cars are charging in downtime when they wouldn't be going anywhere anyway. In our situation, if we can get our electricity for an average of 60 pence per kilo hour or less, then running the electric cars is cheaper than the C3 or the BMW 520 diesel that we had before. In terms of infrastructure, it seems to be a bit of a geographic lottery at the moment. We've been lucky at times when our cars are going to be sitting doing nothing anyway, there are destination chargers nearby, which are either cheap or free. But that might not be the case for you. So you need to do a bit of research to see what's going on in your area or the areas where you're going to be using the car. So, helpful consumer advice. Can you run an EV with no home charger? Yes. Or no. Or maybe. It kind of depends on what you're using it for and where you're using it. Right, that's all I've got for you in this video. Remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.